Hello and welcome. Today I'm testing a mainframe application. Um, therefore, I've got prepared uh, an example test. Uh, it should enter some data in my application, create some customer record. It's a very simple demo application and it's actually using MicroFocus Enterprise Developer um, to create uh, this, this COBOL program. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. So you can see here, this is my COBOL program and it's uh, running uh, on, on the server. And uh, so I have my Roomba and I can start this example application and then I get, can add some, some uh, accounts and yeah. So that's what I want to do. Um, in the background you see a unified functional testing. Um, it actually has uh, some test objects like here the account find menu. This is the account find menu. You see here the fields that are on this account find file menu and for example the, the account actually. So if you want to know what this is, you can see it's a highlight in an application and it's going to highlight here the account field. Um, or you want to know where this, the, this uh, first name uh, thing, so you can say again, highlight in application, there's first name and it gets also some, some request type and etc. etc. So you see it's really identifying the fields we could also use this object spy and then see the fields that are on this uh, screen. So I'm now spying, let me move this a bit to here and now you can see the fields that are here is the first name and account, request type, etc. So if you click on it actually, you get the, uh, the field name, surname for example and can use it in your application on a test. If you record the test you will get something similar like that. But with constant data, I've uh, parameterized some data, which means I've linked it to the Excel sheet, which you see here below. So instead of typing in a fixed surname, I'm using it from this column in the sheet. And instead of typing in a fixed first name, I'm using it from this column. And uh, the test uh, has uh, two test data combinations, so I'm, I'm actually creating those two customer accounts. Um, Creating means that if you run the test, you see that those two accounts are being created. So let's go back and start, press clear, and run the test. And run, and you see also result, by the way. Um, this is going to check, uh, so means the UFG has been looking on the screen and checking if this requested addition completed is really can be found on the screen, right? So this is a checkpoint. So let's start the test. It's running the first data record, entering this data set, and then after that it will go to the second row and using the second data set and enter this test data combination. So let me see, it's checking for requested addition completed. Um, I did actually change that. So maybe it's taking, this is why it's taking so long. Yeah, there yeah, we got a different, we got it saying a requested edition completed, but you can see that I'm checking for um, requested edition completed. But um, there is a space missing, <laughs> right? Here's in the actual result there is a space, and in my data table there is not. So you can see in the data table there is a space missing and that's why why it did report a failure here so it's comparing the text with the text i have in here and yeah it is does a, an exact match in this case so yeah it's reporting a failure if something is wrong in this case my test uh, test data combination my expected result was wrong so um, i've corrected it and now uh, test test should, should run fine um, but how uh, do you create such uh, test cases you can uh, yeah as I said, uh, add, add some um, objects to the, the repository here and, for ex and uh, also use the recording, then you also will get all these objects. And if you need some additional feed in your test, for example, the special code, just move it in your test. And there it is, and you, you can create some, some uh, data uh, to the field, you can also map it to the uh, data table if this special code should be from the data table, just add a new parameter, say special and then we get a special number here 
another test, test data combination for the second draw. So this is how this works. So, um, and uh, yeah, you can easily create checkpoints um, the same way as you do with other applications as well to validate results. And so UFT will yeah cycle through all the test data. Now I have just two rows. You can add as many rows as you like and as many test cases as you like and embed your UFT test in uh, ALM, for example, in a usual there I've got my test embedded in a test set and was just running it, so you see here the checkpoints requested, addition completed. Here this was without the uh, space missing, so I got two pass and uh, yeah, correct results. So that's basically how it works. Um, yeah, hope you liked it for the short intro. Thanks for watching. Thank you.